My friends, it is time for another adventure in Southern Utah. We're at Little Creek Mesa today, and we've already had an adventure just getting to the trailhead. <laughs> All right, it would seem as though we've gotten ourselves into a bit of a pickle. Brian, ah! what do you think about the road forward, my man? It's getting a little hairy up here. Dude. We're trying to get out to this trail and this road is getting worse and worse. It's one of those times where you just keep pushing, you, you know, you think you're doing really well, everything's good, but it just keeps getting worse. I commend you on how far you've gotten, but uh, now I will help spot you on the way back. Yeah. Cut, cut, cut. You're past most of the worst stuff. Cut it a little bit more and now just go a little bit. Now straight, straight. That was pretty gnarly, I'm not gonna lie. That was like one of the gnarlier roads I think that I've seen one of our vans go down. Wait up! Oh, no, bro! <laughs> Yo, good driving, dude. That was gnarly. Oh, it was like, uh, everything's like, yeah, you think, yeah, okay, okay. And then you get to a point where it's like, no. Nope. Yeah, it just eases you into it. And we just hit a dead end again. What is happening, man? I'm trying to trust Google Maps when big mistake. This is not the way. Seth and I learned that lesson many a year ago. I am such a Google Maps like <laughs> total devotee. I trust it to my death, and it probably will be my death someday. Hey, look! Come over here and look at the side ah! of your van. <laughs> ah! <laughs> It'll puff right out. The Nugabago took one for the team here. So Alexander, single track sampler, has done this ride before. I think I might have done this ride before. I actually don't remember. But what I know is that you pretty much need a guide to be riding out here. So I've enlisted Pierce from up, Pierce's POV here on YouTube to show us around. He's a local guy, he goes to school here. So uh, we're gonna need it. The bike is ready, charged up, ready to go. I always have to worry about these batteries. I'm not always thinking about the batteries, but now I've made it as a little rule to take the battery out of the dropper post and that will remind me like either to swap out to a fresh set or uh, charge them back up. This is definitely the chilliest day of our riding adventure so far, but I'm bringing my big bag so I can take my jacket off and put it in, no problem. That little escapade cost us a little bit of daylight here, so. Hopefully we won't be sunset sampling. No, I don't think so. <laughs> There's actually a really nice mellow dirt road to get here. And it's so interesting because it's just this prairie. It doesn't look like anything. And then eventually you start hitting slick rock like this. And it's like, oh yeah, I see. All right, I already remember it. I have done this before. Oh, really? Yeah. While that day was forgettable, Today won't be, right, Pierce? No. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he was trying to wipe my nose with his back wheel. Just sweep the path to make the trail. That's cool. Ow. Oh yeah, those junipers. <laughs> They look like they'll move for you. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> Following too closely. Oh, oh, oh it's dropped. <laughs> it's getting warm now. Yep. Nice. Cool. Whoa. Ah, you went off so smooth. It's still, it's nothing but it. Yeah. Nice transition. Yeah, we got senior smooth. <laughs> The invisible route. Yeah, there's rock cairns here and there. Whoa. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> natural double, natural tabletop. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That right there. Yeah. The wacky right. transfer. This is Pierce doing a run up on the Dorito of Death. <laughs> oh my gosh, you scared me, man. <laughs> 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 Clean. And then your back tire tried to explode on the way up, too. <laughs> I know. Well, I, I touched the brakes a little bit because I was like, now you're going too fast, <laughs> homie. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I wanted a little bit higher front wheel on the first one, but beggars can't be choosers. Pierce borrowed his buddy's bike for this ride. Shout out to John. He's going to be out here with that shit right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> the love tap. Uh -huh. <laughs> Gloves save me. Now available at BKXE.store. Thank you guys, everyone who's bought a jersey and gloves. It's like the most successful thing merch wise that I've done. Stoked on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrong turn. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's back. We are burning daylight out here, but Pierce is going to keep us safe. We trust him. I've known him for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Come on, at least 40. <laughs> Obviously. Oh yeah. <laughs> Air bumps for all. Oh. Well, we can see where you guys are trying to climb up to here. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we were in the car. <laughs> you can wave to the people on Gooseberry over there. Yeah. Just try to find like a paved road somewhere in there. Yeah. That was where we were. <laughs> Might be that one. All the different rock is just, oh, I just wish I knew more about it. Gonna have to get me a geology field guide. Stop every five seconds. <laughs> Manual into OTB. <laughs> Spicy. Oh my. Oh yeah. <laughs> to nowhere. Ooh. my mom that <laughs> hey wait 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 uncle scotty don't you dare tell them <laughs> i know he watches every video of yours man hey he knows what he's doing 
the trail work that's needed out here is stacking rocks, putting logs down, hoping people don't get lost when it's pretty much inevitable. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, dude, major props. That was ugly. That was tough. Perfect wheel catchers. What is this? Woo Two crash test dummies in front of me. <laughs> Showing me the turns. <laughs> Crash test smarties. Oh yeah. You might crash right there. Oh no. I crashed pretty much around that tree. You want to do it again? It hurt my shit. No! <laughs> <laughs> called it. I was I was like in the middle of saying no. <laughs> okay, as long as we got that one out of the way. Those goggles have done a great job so far on this trip of warming your helmet up, it. protecting it, keeping it from UV light exposure. Uh-oh. Yeah, dude! <laughs> yeah, it is the best. You got your pucker pants on? <laughs> Big hits. That feels good. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> it's all about the smileage. It's all about the smiles per mile. Smiles per mile. Hey, having a damn good time with you out here, buddy. This is good. Damn good time. <laughs> Until the fist bump. Oh, bing! A rim dinger for the road. Nugabago spotted. Are they growing pumpkins out here? They're keeping it. Time to crack a cold one. So Pierce had a little post-ride beer gift for Alexander. What do we got? Oh wow, that's really good. It could just be that I haven't be had a beer in like over two weeks, actually. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be in complete disbelief. <laughs> that's that's solid, dude. Yeah, dude. I, I think like they that. designed it for us. <laughs> I like that. I'm pretty sure Cheers. that's me on the can. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is down <laughs> and it does get chilly quick. The breath is flying, but that was a hell of a day. Thank you, Pierce, for of course, being guys. our guide. You guys are super fit. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we, we killed it. The, the picture of fitness. Alex moving on that 27.5 was impressive. There was a few lines Brian and I did and struggled on on the 29er. Somehow he just tanked up it, muscled up it. It was fun to watch. Tank, tank, <laughs> tank. You're probably not feeling it now. But. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're heading back and we're following the Google directions. And we, we both are like, this is not the road. We started zooming out, zooming out. No! That's the deadly uh, switchback. That's where we were earlier. We know from the zigs. It's taking us right there. Damn it, Google. <laughs> Turn around. We were chatting. We were having a heck of a time. And then we hit one section and I was like, hey, Brian, is this the way? I don't remember yeah. anything this gnarly coming back in like at these amount of rocks. We go the right way. You were good. You were good. Your, scent, your spidey sense was tingling. I was willing to just oh be like, I one little section. But then it's like, no, it was all super wide, super mellow. Imagine what the top of that section looks like, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Drop if we, it in. If we start to drop in, you can't turn, you can't stop. You can't back up it. <gasps> Woo. Okay. Right. At least we have full bars. We are headed to Apple Valley. We are not headed back. All right. What's going on? 10 o'clock at night and we're still out here. Help! <laughs> Send help! I got, I got this. <laughs> Brian swears he knows where we're going. Straight ahead. Dead reckoning. We've been driving for a while. <laughs> Getting a little creeped out out here. Plenty of gas in the tank. 
Thank goodness you're you were rolling full. So the next day, I made an attempt to buy some new knee pads. I went down to Bicycles Unlimited in St. George and struck out. They only had the small size left of the 790P Sam Hill knee pad that seems really sweet. So I went back to Over the Edge and Hurricane and the shop was back to life. I guess they were just on like a winter break thing when I went there a couple days ago. Tons of people, tons of stuff happening. They had a bunch of those knee pads I wanted, but they did not have the medium size. They went looking for me. They said that there was one in stock, but we could not find it. So I am still knee pad less. Southern Utah continues to deliver the goods. The riding's fantastic. The weather has been perfect. If we keep this run up, we're gonna have a lot more good adventures to be able to share with y'all. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for being here. Do me a favor, go ride something new. Maybe I'll see you on the trail.